in this lecture we are going to work with contour plot so plot 3d data as contour outlines in 2d space to do this i have some data in here which i've attached to this lecture so for this data this is what we are going to use for the 3d plot or the 3d graphs now we have x y z and for this plot we have x and many y's so to make a contour plot i have this data which is quite long so let's just select some portion maybe the first 20 and then head over to contour plot and then choose contour now when you choose contour let's go back so you have the style you have contour plot and you also have failed contour plot so it gives you like a color scheme to it so let's go to contour and for the data format you can choose x y z triplets as we have x y and z or you can choose just many z's or you can choose x y so if you have an x y but you have many z's now let's go to next and because we've already pre-selected x is selected y is selected and z is selected and let's head to finish so this gives us our contour plot so what this is giving us is an x and y plane so the z plot or the z the z view in the x and y plane right so that's what we have and you can double click and customize it as we've already done so you can come to the graph section and change the legend change the grid change the plane as well add color to the plane then you can also come to the axis change the ticks change how the axis looks in this section as we've already reviewed under modifying graphs or modifying axis and you can come to the plot so you can change where it ends in here and you can also change the fill so we have now the major contour you can go for let's say minor or major you can do that here and then you can choose the lines so at the moment we have solid but you can change it to short dashes and you can add colors so you can go for let's say firehouse or carnival or so you can add like colors to it and make it more nice so it kind of gives you like a color scheme where if you're having um blue it means you're seeing more heavy z values and if you are seeing this deep blue you're seeing less z value so for instance you're seeing for this one you're seeing like in the five thousands whereas for this one you're gonna see like in close to twenty thousand so that's how like distributed the values are in the x y plane so if you have values in the z plane and you want to know how distributed it is in the x y plane you can use the contour you can change the line to a different color and change the gap of the lines as well and you can just customize it as we've already done change the thickness of the lines and come into scale so with a scale you can also play around where it should start so it starts from minus in the y axis it starts from minus 700 to somewhere like here but you can also customize that and change the range you can add labels to the contour so now for instance this is vertical you can change it to let's say align with the contour so it kind of moves around it and play along with all these if you want to hide it if you want to 
um, add it you can also do it here and then the details of the con so this is something useful if you need contour plot you can always do it here and yeah that'll be it for this one so let's let's add a new one so let's go to new and then go to graph page and let's go back to our 3d and this time we want to do the failed contour so we're just going to use the same data and then head to finish so it's giving us something like this which is beautiful so this is the same it's just telling us that once you're going this way it's heavy z activity and you're getting like light z so it's kind of like a very nice plot where you can um, see it's kind of like similar to this you're seeing less values in the middle and heavy activity at a corner so you can also come in and customize it double click brings up this and it's the same you can customize the axis and then the graph and you can come to the fill so you have like a spectrum you can change it to gray or change it to let's say firehouse change it to party so however you want to change it you can you can always do that and you don't have a line but you can also add a line to it if you want you add change the colors you can you can just make it more beautiful or more useful for your need if if you need that you can also change the scale and as we've already shown it's just the same way you can change all these stuff 